What's up guys, Big Bad Wolf here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the way that I think is the best way to make the most money the quickest, okay? Um, now this assumes that you have decent kits. Um, I wouldn't recommend this route that I am running. Um, it is on Lighthouse. I wouldn't recommend it if you are, are broke and struggling to make money to purchase the initial, you know, get back into the, the good kit range. So if you are looking for a video on how to go from broke to having enough money to buy some good kits, uh, I just did a video on what I feel is the best way to do that and my strategies for doing so that I will link above. Um, so feel free to check that video out. This video is going to be more for those of you who have good kits and are just looking to act like absolutely bank, um, <clears throat> bank money. So uh, this is on Lighthouse. I definitely feel that Lighthouse is the best map for making money right now. Um, and so I'm going to go through my route on Lighthouse and what I look for and where I loot. Um, and, you know, you might be a little surprised because uh, a lot of people start on Lighthouse and they automatically assume that you got to go kill the rogues and that's the best way to make money. But I actually don't think so. Um, in my opinion, I think it's you're gonna profit way more in the long term by hitting the houses um and then extracting without ever even going towards the rogues okay i think the rogues are a high risk high reward play i do like going after them every now and then uh, but you're probably gonna die more than you'll extract when you go for the rogues so uh, this is the route that i run this is where i just spawned um i'm over here in this little neighborhood i don't know what you want to call it but uh when i get this spawn what i do and so Basically, what you can do is run run this route in reverse if you get the other side, if you spawn on the other end of the island. Um, in my case, since I'm on this side, I'm going to take the route this way. And again, you would just run this in reverse if you spawn on the other side. So uh, the first place I'm going is this red roof house right here. This house always has like fantastic loot. Well, not always, but it has a lot of really great loot. What we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to check these bedrooms. Okay. So sometimes there can be stuff laying on the desk. Sometimes there can be stuff right here on the floor. I found a Bitcoin in here before on the desk. Um, so you just want to make sure to check that in the nightstands. Um, next, we're going to go into this bedroom over here. Sometimes there can be stuff that spawns on that bean bag. Um, so you want to make sure that you check that. And then just the shelves and everything in here. So this is an offline raid. So we might get, uh, oh, no, there's a gold chain. There we go. <clears throat> Um, and then you can check this one. I haven't found anything great in this room. I don't know if stuff can spawn in here. Um, if you guys know, please drop it down in the comment section. I'm not sure what can spawn in there, but I haven't found much in there. Um, but anyway, those are the, the, the first room we went in, and then that bedroom are where I found the best loot. Um, and again, it's just on the tables and desks in there. So um, from here, what we're doing, we're going back out. You can check this garage. This garage usually has a lot of good stuff. Check the jacket there. Um, you might be able to get some like equipment pieces in there that are worth a decent bit. I just saw metal scissors in there. Um, so we're going, we're just going to go ahead and keep running here. I usually skip these houses. I don't know if that's a mistake. If you guys have found like crazy stuff in these houses, comment it down below. Or if you see anything in this video that I've skipped that you found a ton of good loot in or something like that, that I'm missing, let me know. Um, but I haven't found a whole lot in those houses, so I usually skip them. Um, same with that one down there. I always end up getting into a fight with the player scav. There is decent loot that can spawn in it, but I usually skip that. I usually just come up here because what I am going for right away, typically, and I want to beat everyone else to, is the cabins. Um, so the, <clears throat> the houses that are up on the hills over here, the big ones, those are where I found, or I typically find the best loot. Um, and it's dense with loot in these areas, so you usually find quite a bit of stuff. You can go into this little shack here. It's a little kitchen. Um, in the kitchen here, you, you sometimes find some, like, you know, you'll, here, we'll go in there. Sometimes you find some food, water, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe some healing supplies. There's a freezer over here that sometimes has some stuff in it, and you can check the, the med bag. Um, but this is where I like to go. So this again starting in this route i'll start with this cabin you want to check all these broken boxes these broken boxes in the center sometimes can spawn some crazy stuff like i found vpx's gpus uh bitcoins can spawn in there um i usually go in here i don't think anything can spawn in here i always check it for some reason but i don't think anything can spawn in there um we'll go into the pool room here you can check the grenade box um there's usually ammo up here sometimes you get really good ammo 
Um, and I think that's it for this room. I usually skip on after I check the pool table. Come through here, check this bag. I found a lot of good stuff in this. These bags in general spawn a lot of good stuff. Um, and yeah, I usually find some decent stuff in there. Um, from here, you want to come circle back around. This, the, you got a lot of crates in here. So you got this crate, you've got the grenade case, um, ammo can spawn on the table. So you want to check all these crates. Um, and then this green one out here, you got to be a little careful because if there's people on that mountainside right there, they'll try to snipe you. But if there's no one up there, you can hit this green crate, which usually has some really decent stuff in it. Um, it's usually weapon attachments just like this. But as you can see, you know, I got a good hand guard, green gunpowder, nice stock. <clears throat> From here, um, I typically run a across. So I want to hit the whole first floor before people get in here. That's usually my strategy. You can hit this crate in the middle. Be careful because that's a busy area like the front door that people come in. Um, this room, the pool room, has a lot uh, or the hot tub room, whatever it is that you can usually find. You get attachments like you can see here. Sometimes you get really good attachments. They can spawn on this one too. Um, these usually have some heels in them. Um, and then there's another one on the other side. There's stuff that can spawn all along the seats here not much this time and on the coal so you want to check all that um and then from here where i'm going if you have the keys you can go upstairs in the bedrooms um and there's two safes that are really good so i have the key for this one um and even on top stuff so you got a hot rod right here uh, this one like has given me just from this one again i only have one key for the safes this say as it has nothing in it for me um i have found a lot of good stuff in here i found solar array elements i have found vpx's um i've also found a gpu in those so those are really good safes if you can get the key or if you have the key and then there's another one on this side right here um and i don't have the key for that one but same deal with that um and then i check the countertops so you know entertainment centers and counter or the nightstands and things like that um, out here, you can a lot of times find a ton of good like attachments and ammo. Um, it's usually just like littered about, so just like this. Uh, yeah, it's all crappy ammo, but sometimes you can find really good ammo out here. And then same with the one that's across from it. So that's my route in this house. Once I hit all those, I am out. I don't like spending a ton of time in these because you usually are going to run into a squad when you're in them. Um, cause this is, you know, this is a pretty dense area with, with players. They like to come here. Um, next, what I'm doing is I'm hitting this little house here with the four wheelers, just checking all the shelves. The shelves can have a lot of stuff. Um, you know, toolboxes, there's a car battery. <clears throat> um, you know, checking both garages. You got a lot of stuff in each garage, a lot of shelving. So check all the shelving, the crates. Um, then you come upstairs, there's some bedrooms up here. I always check the stands, um, see if there's anything on those. Oh, that's a breach door. The next one, here we go. Um, you know, you can check these shelves right here because sometimes they can spawn some stuff on them. And then same with the desk. Uh, you know, you just kind of want to keep an eye out on, on like, there's so much that can spawn on this map just everywhere. It is so densely uh, populated with loot. Um, so you just want to make sure you're checking everything and all the shelves. Um, and then once I'm done here, where we go next is to the next cabin. Um, and the next cabin is like, amazingly good so you can come right up in the hills here this is the way i like to take um you can also go around the along the road let wait excuse me along the roadway down to the right there um but i, I like to go back up through the mountainside here because it's a little more secretive you do get people that run this route so you got to be careful when they're coming at you or when you're running um towards the next house that you know just make sure you're listening and, and keeping a close eye to make sure no one's sitting in a bush or something like that so um, just like that, when you go up to the top here, you come across, you are at the next cabin. Um, and usually when I come from this way, the way I like to go in is I like to come down here first. I like to check this crate. Sometimes on the corner or in front of this crate, um, things can spawn. You got some ammo right there that spawns. And I just run across here. Check these seats. They can spawn. The benches can spawn some stuff on them. Um, and then while I'm out here, I just like to go straight down. There's a, one of those crates that I talked about that are split and it usually has good stuff in it. So right here, um, nothing here this time. Um, but again, they can spawn like Bitcoin. It can spawn a lot of good stuff right there. Um, and then from here, what I'm doing is I am taking the basement and going up. So you want to check when you come into the basement, you got to crack that glass, but you want to check this like dead guy right here. Cause he can spawn stuff just like he's got on him right now. What's that? Um, cyclone 
so he, he can spawn bitcoins and stuff in there too um and obviously a cyclone is pretty decent um and then once i'm done here i'm going upstairs so we're gonna go up to the next floor check these crates okay ammo can spawn around you know check make sure you're checking the tabletops we're gonna want to go into the theater here and take pay attention to all the seats and all the shelves so they can spawn stuff so the shelf can spawn stuff right there and then right in the like couple areas you can sometimes find some some loot uh, that can spawn nothing there right now go into this bedroom check the nightstand sometimes you can find some gold necklaces things like that um, and then the, oh there we go gold star sitting on the chair there um, and then from here you can go right across there is like a medical area right here um, you can loot this for all the med equipment um, check the crate see if there's anything I, I don't I haven't found a whole lot outside of that crate in that room I'm not sure if other stuff can spawn um, but then from there I'm going upstairs going into the garage check this shelf right here because this is a, um, a rare loot spawn like right on the shelf like bottom level right there you can't there you go right there um, so make sure you're checking this every time you come in here check this um, the ironing table and then we'll come over here check the back of the trucks you can find stuff on the ground um, all back here there can be stuff um, along the along the tables and everything there we go vertex that's what we're talking about um, and then in the back of this car right here there can be weapon attachments usually um, and then from here we're going all the way upstairs this spawns ammo so there we go there's some BP so you want to check that on your way up when you get up here what you want to do is i usually just go right across i check these there we go what's that bitcoin um you know you check these shelves they're gonna usually spawn some pretty decent stuff keep it on the pool table check the bean bags because sometimes the bean bags can spawn stuff and then you've got this crate tucked in the corner um god i wish this was a real raid man be doing pretty well right right now for myself um, okay, so once you're done there, you, you can hit this bag in here if you want. I'm usually done in this house once I've hit those areas. And then I'm cutting across into the shack over here. So once you're in this shack, you got a safe. You can check for the weapon area. Um, and then the top part's really what you want to make sure you check because it can spawn some pretty good stuff. I mean, it's a it's a safe. So um, then from there, you can check the med bag. And that is it for that um that house there so from here once i'm once i hit those two at this point usually i'm pretty looted so you know in this case i've got the bitcoin i found a vertex i found a couple things you might get into a fight um somewhere in there so you want to you know you might you might pick up some loot that way and then that's it i mean like you're on your way out from here i'm going to show you guys one more spot that i usually check that can have some decent loot and that is on the couch right here that's sitting right outside of the helicopter crash so this is just straight down the road from the cabin the last cabin we hit we're gonna go up here this is also a spawn so you can spawn right next to this couch um and if you do you just want to go over and check in the lap of it and sometimes there can be coins that spawn there so a gp or a bitcoin or a skull ring i uh, found all of the above there so um <clears throat> once you're done here then we're just heading right over to the extract so you just run past the helicopter piece now careful because you might catch guys that come up through the bottom there like so if they're hanging out on the main road they might come up to also extract so they might you know this helicopter crash point is where i've ran into a lot of players so you, you just want to make sure you're paying attention um and it's pretty much a straight shot here so this is the other spawns that you can get um so if you spawn on this side just take this route in reverse okay so you just start at that cabin and you work your way to the other one and then you just extract out the other end um <clears throat> in this case like i said we you know, we're just going to extract down here so you get down here here we go this extract has a ton of loot added as well so if you get to this point um and you're still like you know you, you're not full and you still have some room for loot make sure you keep an eye out in all of the shacks that are over here because you can get a ton of good stuff in them um everything from like really good keys to really good ammo to lots of heals i found all of the above over here there's usually food um <clears throat> so once i get stam here i'll show you guys okay so now we're up at the shacks by the extract so you can come in here there you go there's a cave os sometimes there's stuff on the table um there's the jacket you want to make sure you hit the jacket shelves food sometimes there and check this one so 
just like the last one. These are almost like Sturman Shacks, so you want to check these just like you would on the Sturman Shacks at Woods. Um, they spawn some really good stuff. This one usually has some pretty good stuff in it too, so you got a bag there. Sometimes the couch can spawn stuff. And you're just going to go right up top. And up here, you have a couple jackets, uh, some stuff on the ground. You want to make sure you check the ground. And then once you hit those, it that's it, guys. Once you hit those, um, you just come right back here, and this is the extract. So uh, it's pretty pretty convenient. You just tuck yourself behind this generator here, and you're good to go. Um, so there you guys have it. That's my route for uh, Lighthouse and what I think is the best money route that you can run right now um, If you have some gear, like I said, I you're probably gonna run into some beefy players on that route uh, Just because you know a lot of people like to take a similar route um, So just be ready to fight when you do take it, but you will make a ton of money doing that I think it's the best route in the game right now on any map um, I've just made so much money on that. So uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Your guys' support means everything to me and keeps me going. So I will see you guys next time.